Okay, B15, problem number three. Directions are solved by factoring uh, 8x squared minus 20x equals zero. First thing we always want to do with these is make sure the equation is equal to zero. So we use that zero product principle. After we factor, we'll have two factors equal to zero, and we can set each to zero. Okay, so we have to make sure first that that's set to zero. If not, we have to perform some algebra in order to make it equal to zero. Okay, in this case, it's already done. So what I do next is factor. Okay, in order to factor this, we same steps from the previous chapter. Uh, when I'm factoring, I always want to factor out the greatest common factor first, if there is one. In this case, there is a greatest common factor. I can take 4 and 20, and I can take x and x squared and x. Okay, so the greatest common factor would be 4x. So, I factor out the 4x. Make sure you uh, rewrite your equation. Um, and then I'm going to say 4x times what gives me 8x squared? 2x. 4x times what gives me the negative 20x? Negative 5. Okay. That one fairly easy to factor. Okay. Once I've factored, we use that zero product principle. That means I have a product of two linear terms here equal to zero. If either part of that product is zero, then I'll have a solution that is 4x equals zero or 2x minus 5 is equal to zero, I have a solution, okay? This will give me two solutions, so I solve each of these linear equations, and then I'm done. If 4x equals zero, then x has to be zero. That's one solution. If 2x minus 5 equals zero, for my algebra, first add 5 to both sides, that goes away, and then 2x equals 5, and then divide by 2 and I have x equal to 5 over 2, and those are my solutions, x equals 0, x equals 5 halves. Remember, you can check those, go back to your original equation, plug in a 0 here, to get a solution, plug in a 5 halves here, do the work, do the arithmetic, and you should get 0. Okay? So, number 3, continue with the homework, remember you got to do your homework in order to pass this course.